Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and in this video, I'll tell you how I got scammed. Firstly, sorry if I look and sound a bit rough, that's because I've got COVID and I'm feeling pretty poorly. And that's the first apology and there is another far more important apology coming later in the video. But first, I need to explain what happened. A couple of weeks ago, Hatton sent out an email launching their spring sale and I spotted that the Hornby Mark IIs in the Intercity livery were included at a reduced price of £23. That sounded like a good deal and I've wanted some to go with my Class 73 that I picked up from the flea market. But before I buy anything, I always have a quick Google to see if somewhere else is selling it cheaper. Just because it's in a sale doesn't always make it the best deal. And whilst doing that search, I came across Cannes Models Limited. Not a company I'd heard of before, but they had a really professional looking website and it looked like they just started their own sale. Before I buy from a new supplier, I always do a bit of homework to make sure they seem legit. I checked the Google reviews and they had a small number of reviews and the overall rating was 3.7, which it's not great, but it's also not terrible. They had a Facebook page which seemed relatively active and they were registered with Companies House. There were contact details on the website, FAQs, and the option to subscribe to a newsletter, which all looked positive. Initial impressions were that it all looked pretty legit. And not only did they have great prices, but they also had stock that was hard to find elsewhere. Mark II Intercity TSOs, for example. So I stuck in an order, and again, the process all seemed fine. They accepted the usual payment methods. I was able to create an account to see my order, and I got an automated email confirming my order had gone in. The website stock level had updated. It all seemed good. I thought I'd stumbled across a real treasure trove here. And when I find stuff like this, I like to share it with you guys. So I made a post on the community tab of the channel. I've just stumbled across Cannes Models Limited. It's not a retailer I've used before, but if you have a hunt about in their sales and bargain section, then they appear to have some good deals available and some items of stock which you'd struggle to find elsewhere. Might be worth checking out. I've just put in an order. After posting that, I went back and realized I'd only looked at the sales section and completely ignored the non-sale items. But even those prices were really good. For example, a Hornby Sentinel for under 50 pounds and LMS coaches for 25. So I put in another order and I got another order number. Now, assuming the order numbers are sequential, in the 17 hours between my order, there are another 83 orders made by other people. And at the time, I thought that's reassuring because other people are buying stuff from these guys. Now I couldn't tell you why, but I went back again later that day to check the website to look at stock levels for some of the items I'd ordered, specifically the Intercity Mark IIs. And I'd realized they'd dropped the price again to $19.99. That was when I got the first feeling that something wasn't quite right. That's a crazy low price. This model has an RRP close to 50 pounds. That's a 60% discount, not impossible, but extremely rare. Was this place closing down? Was it some kind of fire sale to shift old stock? Were they going into administration? So I decided to drop them an email saying that I'd made two orders back to back, it was my own fault, but I just wanted to make them aware because they could maybe combine postage and packing. Basically, I just wanted to see if they'd reply. Then Scott McManus in the community pointed me to posts on their Facebook page. A handful of people over the last couple of months were saying that they hadn't received part or any of their orders. Alarm bells really started to ring now, so I phoned Cans. it rang, but it went to voicemail. And part of me still thought, you know what? They're having a crazy sale. Probably got tons of orders. This doesn't look to be a big operation. They're probably just really busy. That's why they didn't answer the phone and they haven't replied to uh, the email. It's only been a day. But I decided to go back to the Google reviews and that's when I realized there were only three of them. But maybe it's a small company, so that's okay. Two of them were five stars. One of them said, recently placed my first order with Cannes Models Limited. The order arrived promptly, well packaged, and all items were in perfect condition. Highly recommended. So that was good. And the other one just said, always been great. Both of those were posted within the last year, which was also reassuring. However, there was a one star review and that said, lack of communication, please reply to messages left on your answer machine and emails pretty negative. But then on closer inspection, one of those five star reviews was from a guy called Adam Can, And I'm pretty sure this is the owner and the director of the business. Not so good. Then I decided to go back to company's house and check the documentation that they held. And looking at that more closely, this company is supposedly dormant. Basically, not doing anything. At this point, something really didn't feel right. So I updated the community post to say, 
Look, it's been brought to my attention that some people haven't been receiving some of their orders or all of their orders. I've got two orders in, I'll let you know how it goes, but I've got some concerns. If you do still want to put an order in, I recommend that you use a payment method that offers you some kind of protection. There was, however, a glimmer of hope. Neil Arnold, who I assume is independent to the shop, posted a comment in the community section saying, that he'd found Cannes models when he was looking for some Acuriscales PTA Tipler wagons. He'd managed to pick up a couple of packs when everyone else had sold out. Also that their customer service was second to none with them reaching out to him in Canada to make sure that the package had arrived in good condition, five stars plus. So there was still a glimmer of hope. I decided to contact a couple of people who'd posted on the Cannes Facebook page to say that they'd never received their stuff to see whether it had turned up. And some of those comments went back to January and February. One lady replied almost immediately to say nothing had ever turned up, she had no refund and there was no communication from Cannes. I also tried calling the shop a few times, but now it was going straight to voicemail. I was actually in the middle of replying to a post on Can's Facebook page when something went wrong with my post and it turns out they just deleted their Facebook account whilst I was writing. Minutes later, the status of their shop on Google changed to permanently closed. I'd been talking to a few people who'd also placed orders and had concerns and one of them directed me to a thread on Dean Park Station Facebook group. It's a really good group for modelers and Cannes Models Limited were being discussed in here and it was clear a number of people were in the same position as me. There was also information about Adam Can, the director of the business and apparently he'd done something like this before with a company called Cannes Interseller Trading or possibly Bridstone Models. I was also pointed to an RM Web forum where there was some confusion about whether this guy was an approved retailer for any of the big brands or not. And confusingly, I think it turns out that at some point he was, and he may have even been listed on the UK model shop directory, but had subsequently been removed. Everyone was trying to get hold of someone from Cannes, and apparently someone had spoken to Adam Can, who supposedly said that the business had stopped trading in November 21. Well, that was clearly at this point the website was still trading and I was starting to feel pretty terrible that people had made orders based on my community post. I made another post telling people not to order and explained all the stuff I've just told you. Within hours of that post going up all the products had been deleted from their website so at least no one else was going to get caught out. So now it was pretty clear that Cannes Models Limited was no more and that any orders weren't going to be delivered. There were lots of angry modelers, quite a few got in touch and it looked like we'd all been scammed. So the main reason for making this video is to say that I'm really sorry if you ordered something from Cannes based on my community post. If I'd had any idea that Cannes Models Limited were dodgy, I'd never have shared it. I felt pretty dreadful when I received messages from people saying they were worried that they'd lost their money. I have heard that some people have received their money back already from their bank or payment provider, which is great though. My credit card claim is ongoing, but fingers crossed it'll go through. If you're based in the UK, then there are various ways to get your money back depending on how much you spent and what you use to pay. I'll put a link to the Citizens Advice website in the description. If you haven't already contacted your payment provider, then I'd encourage you to do that ASAP because there are time limits on when you can claim and it might take some time for them to return your money to you. So best to do it sooner rather than later. A number of people have reported Cannes Models Limited and its director Adam Can to the relevant authorities and I would encourage you to do the same because we need to stop companies and people behaving like this in future. So it'll be interesting to see if there are any repercussions from that. Personally, apart from being a bit pissed off, I find this whole situation really interesting. Was this ever a genuine effort to be a model shop? A huge amount of work must have gone into that website. It looks like there were efforts of marketing on Facebook and even YouTube, albeit from quite some time ago, and apparently there were even some happy customers. So at some point this did seem like a genuine business. But what happened? Did it fall on hard times with the pandemic? And at what point did it start selling products that didn't exist? Given the silence from Cannes, we can only speculate, but it's my opinion that certainly in late Feb, early March, the website prices were being intentionally dropped purely to attract orders that were never going to be fulfilled. New products were also being added uh, during that period and I've been told that they wouldn't even have had access to them because they weren't approved suppliers. And to me, that suggests a clear intention to deceive. 
So what's the situation here? This isn't some sort of offshore ghost company with faceless directors that can just take the money and disappear. It's linked to a real person. He lives in the UK. People have found him on social media. It's likely the company took thousands, if not tens of thousands of pounds from people. It's just not possible to shut down the account and vanish. If you've got any more information or there's another side to this story, then I'd love to know. Drop me a note in the comments. Also, I'd love to know if you made an order, did you manage to get your money back? Or even better, did anything actually arrive? Maybe you didn't order from Cannes, but something like this has happened to you before. It's not been a great couple of weeks for me when it comes to ordering models. When I realized the stuff from Cannes wouldn't arrive, I reordered some of it from Hattons and Hereford Model Center. As it turns out, both shops sold me stock they didn't have. But the major difference between Cannes and these guys was that within a day I was contacted by them to apologize for the mistake and arrange a refund. Disappointing, but overall good customer service in the circumstances. Although it does feel like I'm destined never to own a Hornby Mark II Intercity TSO. That's it for this video, but there will shortly be a follow-up where we look at ways to avoid getting scammed like this in the future. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That would really cheer me up. Thanks for watching, and I will hopefully see you again soon.